All right, guys, so I've been a little bit busy recently, so that's why I haven't really been uploading that much. I'm really sorry about that. I'm going to try and get back into the routine a little bit more. And one of the films that I kind of saw in the middle of my break was The Fall Guy. And I think this might just be my favourite film of the entire year so far. Now, to be not to be mistaken, this is not Fall Guys, as in the game about those little bean guys. It's not that. This is a Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt led film where Ryan Gosling plays a tired out old stuntman who comes back out of retirement to do one more role and goes out to save the star of the film. And without giving too many spoilers away of this film, please do comment, like, and subscribe, share this with your friends, family, and let me know your thoughts down below on The Fall Guy. And I absolutely love this film, so let's get started with the review. And I think the big standout of this film is the chemistry between both Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt because they are two perfect roles here together and they have like a little romance story in here which fits so well and it's one that you really root for as well. It can be funny, it can be emotional, it can be romantic, it's got all the right themes you need in there and of course it's got great action as well. This film is a love letter itself to stuntmen and both stunt women and stunt men as well. It's got so many little references, so many little jokes. It has little cameos in there that point back to other films and their era and everything like that. And as someone who absolutely loves films and the behind the scenes in filmmaking, this film is a love letter to people who enjoy that as well. This film has pretty much everything in it that you need when you're making a film about behind the scenes in filmmaking, pretty much. And not to say, this film is so funny. This film has so many funny scenes from beginning to end. One of the standout scenes is there's a car chase scene on a bridge. I absolutely love that scene. I thought that one was so funny. And, you know, obviously led by Ryan Gosling, who just does an amazing job in here. He just delivers such a charismatic and such a likeable performance as this character. And real conveys, like, proper emotion. And is this really average burnt out guy who a lot of people can relate to and even me who's nowhere near his age can also relate to them as well at the same time and also Emily Blunt like I just said fantastic phenomenal as well they're both so amazing in here Emily Blunt while she doesn't have as much screen time is still very very good in here she's funny she's very very likeable and really really fun to watch on screen she gets uh, as many standout moments as ryan gosling does as well and we've also got some other people in here we've got hannah waddenham and we've got aaron taylor johnson and there's another big cameo in this film that i really enjoyed i hope you guys haven't had it spoiled for you because it's a really really good and funny scene i, I really liked it myself um so kind of that's that and also, it's actually a film which is choreographed really, really well. Like, the way that they kind of show the shots and everything and make it look like it's behind the scenes and it's real. Like, they kind of do it in an interesting way, which kind of haven't really seen it before. So I really enjoyed that at the same time. And I think this film works well as kind of like a, a date night film, you know? Like a, a film which, like, a boyfriend and girlfriend who are just getting the ball rolling. Like, this is the perfect film to go for that like it's an original film although it's not actually original actually I, I forgot to say it's actually based partly on a tv show uh the full guy um and if you're wondering do you need to watch the show before that no you don't there's some little you know there's some little nuggets and little sprinkles and little references to the og fans but nothing too large that you know you need to know in there at the same time also, this film has a great soundtrack as well. I feel like I'm just praising this film now. I'm just going for like, thing, thing, thing. I, I really love. But yeah, this film's soundtrack is phenomenal. Obviously, the big song we've probably seen in the trailers is I Was Made For Loving You. Uh, that's a, Nonetheless, it's a great song. But they play it like, I would say, five times in this film. Maybe even more. And you never get tired of it. You never get exhausted of it. Because it just comes in at the right times and it fits really, really well. And there's a bunch of other songs in here which I don't want to spoil because I know people will be fans of that and people will enjoy that. However, this film is an absolute delight. I, I loved it so much. Like I, I couldn't praise this film more. It's such a funny, 
it's you know it hits the heartstrings when it needs to and it's relatable it's funny it's got little twists and turns in there little twists that you wouldn't expect and things like that the cgi and the effects are great whether it is supposed to be an actual film or it's supposed to be the behind the scenes part it's a love letter to stuntmen at the same time especially in the credits like in the credits they kind of show like different stunt people doing different things it's, it's all like that and things like that um and kind of moving on to the mixed aspects of the film now there's not really much to say this is just whether i think you know this is just good or bad kind of stuff that i'm throwing here and um the only thing i can say is that there is a post credit scene that you do want to stay for it's kind of a thing where once the film ends you're kind of like oh what happened to this aspect of the story kind of where did that thing it answers that there so I recommend staying for it just for the sake of that because it was it was something I definitely questioned. I was like, have they just completely forgotten this plot? Or no, no, no. They, they wrap it up really nicely. Um, and also, like I said a minute ago, there is a good cameo in there as well. So this is one of those ones where you want to be really, really careful of spoilers because spoilers are always there. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and um, so you just want to be careful of that. Um, and from there, let's move on to the, the bad. While I don't have much to say with the bad, there's one issue which I did have with this film. Is that you much care about the dynamic and relationship between Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt much more than the other aspects of this film. And the film's trying to balance that out among with its other plot. And the other plot isn't as interesting as the romance between those two. So it's kind of like when you're in the action sequences or you're in the actual story and the actual plot... It's not as good as you kind of expected it slash wanted it to be because you're more interested in that love story. Whether you're a fan of romance, like romantic films or not, you can't deny that their chemistry is so good on screen and you just want to see more of that. And because we're hooked up with this other plot of, you know, going to save this film star who's gone missing and there's like... A bunch of action sequences that are included in this. And then there's like people getting murdered and like things like that. Like if you're not, even if you are into that, if that's more up your alley as a film. If you're more into action films and romance films, which I would say I am. I still preferred the romantic aspect of this at the same time as well. And I, I just wanted more of that. And I, I wasn't as interested in the actual plot as I was with the chemistry between Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. Which is a shame because... The film itself is really, really great. It's a fantastic film. Like, I absolutely love this film. I had a blast with it. Like, going to see this, we all had fun in there. And you could just tell that people were just having a good time. It's quite a low-stake adventure, which is just fun to watch. It's light-hearted. It's silly. It's funny. It has all the aspects in there that you need in a film like this. It doesn't require any homework. You don't need to watch... This film and then this prequel and then this series. It's actually just one thing on its own. Whether they do a sequel or not. I, I think they are doing a sequel. Um, it, it's just, it is what it is. It's like, this is one of those situations where if you're going to go to the cinema and you don't know what to see. I would recommend going to see The Fall Guy. Don't go and see the latest sequel, prequel to Fast and Furious or something. Go and see The Fall Guy. It's an original fun adventure which is good for pretty much the whole family i mean except little kids don't take them but it's, it's a really good film all ages will get a kick out of this film it's so good it, it's it's absolutely fantastic i couldn't praise this film more and right now it stands as my favorite film of the year so far whether you know deadpool or sonic or whatnot comes along and changes that this is if this film doesn't make the top three then we are in for a good full winter year of films i will say that this is a phenomenal film and i highly recommend you go see it but yeah guys um that's gonna wrap up this video thanks for watching please do comment and share this with your friends family let me know your thoughts down below and i am gonna give this film a 9.5 out of 10 absolutely loved it i want to watch it again I, I cannot wait um but that is all for this video guys thank you so much for watching and let me know your thoughts down below on the full guy did you love it did you hate it we somewhere in the middle and i will get back to uploading more i promise um i would like to do a review of if as well um i've seen that as well and inside out 2 comes out this week and then we've got a quiet place and then despicable me 4 and deadpool and wolverine there's so much coming out but i will try and keep up on top of it as best as i can thank you so much for watching and understanding though so that is all for this video guys thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video goodbye